The Hornady Lock and Load Auto Progressive Press, or AP for short, is a five station reloading press that gives you one loaded round with each pull of the handle. Today, we're gonna to show you step-by-step step how that procedure goes. So stay tuned and we'll start loading some ammo. Loading ammunition on the Hornady Lock and Load Auto Progressive is pretty straightforward once you get the hang of it. Let's take a look at what it takes to put ammunition together on this press. First thing you wanna do is get your primer tube and charge it so you can charge your primer system up here. And to do that, you take your tube, put the primers down face up, and collect them in the tube. Very fast and easy. Once you have your tube filled with up to 100 primers, you take your gravity rod out here, put it over the primer chute, release the primer, and make sure they all go in. Once you've done that, replace this little plastic rod. That helps the primers feed properly. We've got the powder in there. We've calibrated our charge, so we're ready to go. Let's take one case, run it through the whole cycle, and see what's actually involved here. Today we're loading 45 ACP, so we take a case, put it in station one. That resizes it and it also ejects the spent primer if you have one in there. Today we're using new brass, so no primer to kick out. As it comes down, it comes to the priming station and you have to push forward on the handle to seat that primer. After the primer is seated, pull back on the handle again, it goes to the powder station. Case activated powder charge comes through, will only happen if there's a case there. If there's no case, nothing happens. At this point, since we're just beginning, I'll take the case out and you can remove the case just about anywhere on this press between stations. And I'll check it on my Hornady scale. If the charge checks out, I'll replace the powder. Put it back in the station. This one's the powder cop. We see that we have a full charge here. The little O-ring has come up flush. Next up, we have to grab a bullet because we're going to seat in the last station. And that seats and crimps the bullet. Coming down, we have an extra station that does nothing, although you can crimp separately if you want to. And the easy jack system kicks the case right out and into this handy little hopper that clips onto the side of the press here. So it's that easy. Now once you get going, here's how it works. Seat the primer, put in another case. First case is charged. Put in another case. Second case is charged. So from this point on, we need to grab a case and a bullet with each cycle of the handle to keep the chain of events flowing. So, case is in place. As the charged case comes up, put a bullet in it, seat it. Another case, another bullet. Repeat as needed. You can load as many or as few rounds as you like this way. Now once you've run out of cases, you just keep cycling and adding bullets as needed until you've run through all the cases. When you're working up a load, if you have questions about how much powder or which powder to use, go to the good book like I always do. It's all in here. Just about every caliber you're apt to load, it's going to be covered in your Hornady manual. Can't recommend it too hard, highly. It also lists your overall length of the cartridge. So once you load a cartridge, get your calipers out, measure it, make sure you're where you need to be. 
Overall length is important. It affects pressure and it affects feeding, especially in automatic pistols and semi-automatic rifles. So, go to the book when you have a question. I've been using the Hornady Lock and Load Progressive for years. I have two of them set up at home. One loads exclusively 9mm with a case feeder and a bullet feeder. The other set up primarily for 45 like this one, although I use it for 38, 357, uh, 40 caliber, 10 millimeter, um, 44 magnum, and a few others I just can't remember right now, including 223, of course. I found it to be a very reliable machine. Um, I like the priming system in it. It's much more reliable than others I've tried. I use it not only to load ammo, but I use it a lot for uh, progressively resizing cases, kicking out the primer so I can throw them in my vibratory tumbler. It makes it go much faster. All you have to do is put cases in. You don't have to put them, take them out like you would on a single stage press. Now the Hornady Lock and Load Progressive is a great progressive press, but it also works fantastic for single stage operations. For example, if you want to deprime and size all your brass and then throw it into your tumbler, use your AP, it's much easier. Just take out the dies you don't need. The lock and load system makes that super easy. Gently take out your powder measure so it doesn't spill. Set it aside. Now you're ready to size and deprime as fast as you can go. So. Grab cases. And it'll automatically eject them. You don't have to grab any cases. It's the easiest way to go. Much faster than having to take the case back out again of your shell holder on your single stage press. Another great thing about this press is you can use it to swage primer pockets with the Hornady Primer Pocket Swager. Now this is pretty slick. It's only available for 223 and 308. And what it does, it lets you put a case on the post, run it through the three dies. The last die automatically ejects the case, so you don't have to grab that case either. Just as fast as you can put them in, you can swage pockets. I've, I've done primer pockets a lot of different ways over the years, and this is by far the easiest I've ever seen. Now remember when you're using this press, you've got five stations to work with, but you can use anywhere from one to five. So if you want to size like I did earlier, and just do nothing else, you can do that. If you want to size and flare the neck, you can do that. If you've got all your brass processed and just want to charge it with powder, seat the bullet, and crimp it, you can do that. Uh, if I have one or two operations to do, say I'm uh, forming a case to another caliber or something, it doesn't get any handier than this. You get a finished case with each pull of the handle, whether you're loading ammo, resizing ammo. It's really a slick, slick machine. It's sturdy. I'll never be able to wear one of these out. As long as you follow the instructions and do what Hornady tells you, because believe it or not, they understand how this thing works, uh, you won't have any problems. I do have to look at the manual when I adjust this machine. I really have to look at it when I set one up. The one we set up for this shoot, even though I've got two at home that I've set up, I got the instructions out and looked over them very carefully. There's a lot going on here, and when it's going right, it's very, very simple. That's why I've had great success with this press, and I'm going to be using it for years to come. Now, the Hornady Progressive works great for pistol, but it's also sized to do full-length rifle cartridges. So if you want to load 308, 30-06, you name it on here, it's more than up to the task. The only difference of the process is lubing the brass. Now, the old-fashioned lubes that used to come in a uh, tube, like toothpaste, that would be a messy, a messy go-around. But Hornady has the one-shot case lube, where you just lay the cases out on newspaper or on cardboard, spray them down according to directions, let them dry for a little bit, then put them into your bin and load as normal. No different than pistol from that point. The dies will be a little different, but the process is the same. Every pull of the handle will give you one completed rifle round. Now, in addition to the press and the dies, Hornady makes a lot of accessories for this. We're using a Hornady scale today. Hornady makes these bins in two sizes, large and small, to hold your shells, to hold your bullets, hold your cases. They make different attachments, different dies. There's a ton of stuff you can add to this press, including a bullet feeder and a case feeder if you want to get really automated. But for me, the way this is set up, I've got one of these at home. 
for 45 just like this, I put them in manually, works great for me. If you have any questions about the Hornady Lock and Load Auto Progressive Press or on reloading in general, give us a call on the tech line. We'll be glad to help you out. Thanks for watching.